Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 13. Let's take one more example. Here we have to show that the tangents to the curve at these points are parallel. 7, this is x cube. So very simple here, I have to just find the tangents to this curve at these points and, to, and prove that they are same. So let's do that. The first tangent, I'll say tangent 1 is nothing but dy by dx at x is equal to 2. This is nothing but 7x cube. If you differentiate this, it becomes 7 into 3x square, right? Plus 11 becomes 0. So that becomes 21 into 2 square. That is 21 into 4, that is 84. The second, I'll say slope. The slope of tangent 2 will be nothing but dy by dx at x is equal to second point, that is minus 2. This is nothing but 7 into 3x square again here. You put x equal to minus 2, this becomes 21 into minus 2 square, that is again 84. And you see both these values are same. Thus, I can say that these slopes, uh, these since the slope of t1 is equal to slope of t2, that is tangent 1 is and tangent 2 both have same slope, I can say that t1 is parallel to t2, and that is my answer. Let's take one more. Here also we have to find the points points at which the curve, this guy is there, y is equal to x cube, the slope of the tangent, the slope of tangent is equal to y coordinates, that is I'll say m of slope is nothing but y, y naught. So we have to find x naught and y naught such that the slope is nothing but y. Correct? So let's try this, it's not a very difficult question. So if you see, the slope of tangent, the first thing we'll do at x0, y0 is nothing but dy by dx at x is equal to x0. This is nothing but if you see it, y is equal to x cube, dy by dx is nothing but 3x square at x is equal to x0 and that is nothing but 3x0 square and this guy is equal to y0 given, correct? The slope of tangent is nothing but y0. So I have one equation that is 3x0 square is equal to y0, correct? 3x0 square is equal to y0. Now I have equation in terms of x and y to find the value of x. So let's somehow convert this into whole x equation. I know y, I know that y0 is equal to, I know y0 is nothing but x cube, x0 cube actually. Because y is equal to x cube, so y0 will be x0 cube. So if I merge this equation, I'll get 3x0 square is equal to, instead of y0, I'll write x0 cube. So if with this, I'll take x0 common, so this becomes, or x0 square common, this becomes 3 minus x0 is equal to 0. With this, the value of x0 will be either 0 or so I have two possible values of x0 where this condition is true. I have the value of x0, I have to find x0, y0 actually. So let's find the value of y0. So case 1. So in case 1, my x0 is equal to 0. My y0 is nothing but x0 cube that is 0 cube that is 0. Correct? So my x0, y0 is 0 comma 0 in this first case. Second case, my x0 is equal to 3, y0 is nothing but x0 cube, that is nothing but 3 cube, that is 27. So here my x0 comma y0 will be x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 27. So I have two possible sets of point that is 0 comma 0 or 3, 27. At both these points, 
my slope of tangent is nothing but y naught. That is y coordinates of the y. Very simple. If you just understand the question, solving is very simple. The main thing here is just understand what the question is asking. See, when you read the question, you just try to circle what the main points. Here I'm talking about the points, slopes, tangents. So you should not get confused with normal. The question is about normal or what or tangents. You just circle the main points and then try to solve the questions. Let's take one more example. We have this curve. We have to find all the points at which the tangent passes through origin. That means it is saying that x0, y0 is the point of tangent and x0 is y0 is 0. That means this is my sum uh, what do you call it? You can see uh, figures, some curve and if you see this is my tangent. And the tangent passes through origin. I have to find what? Points at which this tangent passes through origin. For example, I have to find here x0, y0. Because you define all the values of x0, y0 for this particular curve. For example, this also may be one. We are not sure if it is one or two, right? They can be multiple. X naught dash, y naught dash. They can be multiple value of x naught, y naught, where this tangent passes through origin. So till now we have seen that we are able to find these points if we know slope of the tangent, correct? So let's suppose in this case, what is the slope of tangent? First, find the slope of tangent. If we know slope of tangent. at x0, y0, we can find the values. So if you see slope of tangent will be, this point is 0 and 0. So this is nothing but a line which has 0 and 0 as one point and x0 and y0 has one point. The slope will be nothing but y2 minus y1, that is y0 minus 0 by x2 minus x1, that is x0 minus 0. And that is nothing but y0 by x0. So I have the slope of the tangent at x0 and y0. So if I have the slope, I can very well find the answer because there are two ways to find slope. One is I have the slope, right? And now the slope of the tangent at this is also equal to dy by dx at x is equal to x0. So dy by dx is nothing but if you say 4x cube, if you differentiate with respect to x, this becomes 4 into 3x square and minus 2 into x to the power 5 becomes 5 into x to the power 4. Correct? So this is nothing but, and now if you put x is equal to x0, you get 12 x0 square minus 10 x0 to the power 4. So this is my equation number. That is slope of tangent at x0 y0. So if you see, this is my equation number 1 and this is my equation number 2. Both this equation we are talking about slope of tangent at x0 y0. So I can equate these two equations actually. So I can say that 12 x0 square minus 10 x0 to the power 4 is nothing but y0 by x0. Correct? Why? Because y0 by x0 is also slope of the tangent. And this guy is also, if you see, slope of the tangent. So this is nothing but y0 by x0. Now I have to solve this equation actually. So with this, if you see, if you get y0 comes out to be nothing but this x goes this side, this becomes 12 x0 cube minus 10 x0 to the power 5. Now since I have equation in y and x, I want to find equation only in x so that I can solve the value of x. I have one more equation here. Here if you see this is nothing but y0 is equal to 4 x cube minus 2 x to the power 5. So I will merge these two equations. So instead of y0 I will write 4 x cube minus 2 x to the power 5 and this is equal to 12 x cube minus 10 x to the power 5. So if you solve this, this is nothing but 
x cube part if you take this side and x5 you should take this side this becomes 10 minus 2 8 x to the power 5 is equal to 12 minus 4 8 x to the power 3 8 8 cancel if you see this is nothing but 8 x cube into x square minus 1 is equal to 0 so with this we can say that x is equal to 0 or 1 correct this is x square minus 1 is equal to 0 or you can say x square is equal to 1 so this is x is equal to plus minus 1 actually. why I'll solve you this is nothing but 8 x cube into x plus 1 into x minus 1 is equal to 0 so x has 3 values 0 1 and minus 1 so now I know the value of x I can very well find the value of y so case 1 right x is equal to 0 y is nothing but 4 into 0 cube minus 2 into 0 to the power 5 that becomes 0 case 2 y is nothing but x equal to 1 if you say y is equal to 1 cube minus 2 into 1 to the power 5 right this is 4 actually this becomes 4 minus 2 that is 2 similarly case 3 where x is equal to minus 1 minus 1 this guy so y is nothing but 4 into minus 1 cube minus 2 into minus 1 to the power 5 this is nothing but minus 4 and plus 2 that is minus 2 so if you see the value of x y pair we got is when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 1 pair when x is equal to my minus 1 y is equal to minus 2 second pair and x is equal to 1 y is equal to second pair and this is my answer thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again